Good morning and welcome to the devotion from Our Saviour Lutheran Church on Sunday the 22nd of November. Today is the last Sunday of the church year. And our order of service is as always is on page 200, <coughs> excuse me, 295 in the Lutheran service book. Psalm is Psalm 61 and our hymn is hymn number 875. Eight, seven, five. If you don't have a Lutheran service book to hand, then you can download the order of service from just below this video on the YouTube channel or you can watch it on the uh, church website. You, the order of service is next to the video or just below it, depending on your device. And there are links to the hymn and the psalm below the video. Page 295, Psalm 61, hymn 875. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 61 Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever. Let me take refuge under the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Prolong the life of the king. May his years endure to all generations. May he be enthroned forever before God. Appoint steadfast love and faithfulness to watch over him. So will I ever sing praises to your name as I perform my vows day after day. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hymn 875 Father, we praise thee, now the night is over. <laughs> Father, we praise thee, now the night is over, active and watchful stand we all before thee, singing we offer prayer and meditation, thus we adore thee. Monarch of all Feed us for thy mansions, banish our weakness, health and hold ascending, bring us to heaven, where thy saints united, joy without ending. All holy Spirit, Trinity blessed, send us thy salvation, thine is the glory, gleaming and resounding through all creation. reading from Daniel chapter 2, beginning at, beginning at verse 24. Therefore Daniel went into Arioch, whom the king had appointed to destroy the wise men of Babylon. He went and said to him, thus to him, Do not destroy the wise men of Babylon. Bring me in before the king, and I will show the king the interpretation. 
Then Ariok brought in Daniel before the king in haste and said thus to him, I have found among the exiles from Judah a man who will make known to the king the interpretation. The king declared to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, Are you able to make known to me the dream that I have seen and its interpretation? Daniel answered the king, No wise men, enchanters, magicians or astrologers can show to the king the mystery that the king has asked. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries, and he has made known to, the king, to king Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the latter days. Your dream and the visions of your head as you lay in bed are these. To you, O king, as you lay in bed, came thoughts of what would be after this, and he who reveals mysteries made known to you what is to be. But as for me, this mystery has been revealed to me, not because of any wisdom that I have more than all the living, but in order that the interpretation may be known to the king, and that you may know the thoughts of your mind. You saw, O king, and behold a great image. This image, mighty and of exceeding brightness, stood before you, and its appearance was frightening. The head of this image was of fine gold, its chest and arms of silver, its middle and thighs of bronze, its, leg, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of clay. As you looked, a stone was cut out by no human hand, and it struck the image on its feet of iron and clay, and broke them in pieces. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver and the gold all together were broken in pieces, and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away so that not a trace of them could be found but the stone that struck the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth this was the dream now we will tell the king his interpretation you O king the king of kings to whom the god of heaven has given the kingdom the power and the might and the glory and into whose hand he has given wherever they dwell the children of man, the beasts of the field, and the birds of the heavens, making you rule over them all. You are the head of gold. Another kingdom inferior to you shall arise after you, and yet a third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over all the earth. And there shall be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron, because iron breaks to pieces and shatters all things. And like iron that crushes, it shall break and crush all these. And as you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, it shall be a divided kingdom. But some of the firmness of the iron shall be in it, just as, you, just as you saw iron mixed with the soft clay. And as the toes of the feet were partly iron and partly clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly brittle. As you saw the iron mixed with soft clay, so they will mix with one another in marriage, but they will not hold together just as iron does not mix with clay. And in the day of those days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, nor shall the kingdom be left to another people. It shall break in pieces all those kingdoms and bring them to an end, and it shall stand forever. Just as you saw that a stone was cut from a mountain by no human hand, and that it broke in pieces the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold. The great God has made known to the king what shall be after this. The dream is certain, and its interpretation sure. Then King Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and paid homage to Daniel, and commanded that an offering and incense be offered up to him. The king answered and said to Daniel, Truly your God is God of gods and Lord of kings, and a revealer of mysteries, for you have been able to reveal this mystery. Then the king gave Daniel high honours and many great gifts, made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon, and chief prefect over all the wise men of Babylon. Daniel made a request of the king, and he appointed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel remained at the king's court. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Revelation to St. John, chapter 19. After this I heard what seemed to be the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven, crying out, Alleluia! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. For his judgments are true and just, 
for he has judged the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her immorality and has avenged on her the blood of his servants. Once more they cried out, Alleluia! The smoke from her goes up for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God who was seated on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia! And from the throne came a voice saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder, crying out, Alleluia, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult, and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. It was granted her to clothe herself with fine linen, bright and pure. For the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Then I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. The one sitting on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, and he has a name written that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and the name by which he is called is the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were, followed, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule with the rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of the God of, of God the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and with a loud voice he called to all the birds that fly directly overhead, Come, gather for the great supper of God to eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses and their riders, and the flesh of all men, both free and slave, both small and great. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth with their armies gathered to make war against him who was sitting on the horse and against his army. And the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet, who in, the, in his presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped its image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulphur, and the rest were slain by the sword that came from the mouth of him who was sitting on the horse, and all the birds were gorged with their flesh. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. The writing is from the popular commentary on the Bible by the 20th century uh, theologian Paul Kretzmann. This is from volume 4. The glory of the last days here anticipated. As the people of a nation go forth with shouts of victory to meet the returning conquerors, so the multitudes of the perfected saints break forth in hymns of triumph at the return of the victorious Lord of hosts. The salvation of the saints was in his hands, and he wrought it by the mighty manifestation of his grace. And so all glory and power belong to our God, our Lord alone, throughout all eternity. His judgments, his sentences are true. They, are, they have been rendered in accordance with his promises, and they are just. For the rulers of the kingdom of Antichrist had every opportunity to see the errors of their way and to return to the truth. But they deliberately refused and thus invited the wrath of the Lord. For the countless souls which the Antichrist heart corrupted with her idolatry, and for the lives of other thousands of whose blood she said, she would have to answer with a sharp reckoning on the last day. The song of triumph is echoed by the singers and the elders, and for the second time they, had, they said, Alleluia, and her smoke ascends for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living beings fell down, and they worshipped God that is seated upon the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. 
The great harlot is cast into the abyss of fire and brimstone, to be burned with fire throughout eternity. And this fact causes both the elders representing the Church of God and the four cherubs that acted as his servants and messengers to fall down before the throne of God in the act of worshipful adoration and to repeat in endless refrain their hymn of praise, Amen, Alleluia. To God alone, all praise and glory through all eternity. We confess together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, send forth your Son, we pray, to lead home his bride, the Church that with all the company of the redeemed we may finally enter into his eternal wedding feast. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Blessed Lord, you have caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning. Grant that we may so hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we pray together. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.